Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. The export layout command has uh, just one purpose. It exports layouts exactly as they're seen. So let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to switch over to layout one. And here I've laid out the model in four viewports. There's the isometric view, and we have side view, front view, top view. And I'm going to enter in the export layout command. It asks you for a file name, but uh, you don't have to enter a file name because it automatically constructs one. It consists of the name of the drawing, followed by an underscore, and the name of the layout. So that's pretty handy that Brixis does that for you. I'll click Save, and it exports it, and then it asks if you want to see it by opening it again. And of course you do want to see the result. I'm clicking Yes. And here we have the result. This is what BricsCAD exported from the layout and now is open in model view. Okay, so that's why we get the export layout command. It exports it as a DWG file. And then when it's opened again, it is in model space. You get an accurate representation. There are a few changes though, so let's look at what they are. For example, I'm gonna click on a viewport and that is no longer a viewport. It is now a polyline. However, everything else is as it was. That's still a 3D solid, 3D solid, and other changes. For example, the viewport that I turned red is red. The viewport that I gave transparency to has, it still has its transparency. So what use is the export layout command? Well, it's useful for a couple of reasons. One is, as I said, if you want to uh, place just the layout into a DWG file that lets you do that. Another use for it is to convert layout entities into model space entities. This is the only command that does that for you. And the reason you may want to uh, convert them from layout to model is that some other CAD programs, namely CAM programs, computer aided manufacturing programs, uh, cannot read paper space. So this lets you uh, import them into these CAM programs, such as through DXF files. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.